Production Leveling What is Production Leveling? By Production Leveling, we mean, producing all the variety of products, regularly, rather than, in a lumped up manner. Traditionally manufacturing teams, love high volume production, as there is, no need to do, any changeovers, and the production will happen, without disturbance. But, lean principle of pull, does not allow this to happen. Pull principle, requires you to produce, only when, there is a need. Or, when there is a pull, from customer. Customer tag, is applicable to the next process, in a company too. We normally follow, the principle of production leveling, in various other spheres, of life. Let us look at, couple of examples. You would have noticed, in an airline, check in line. All the people, come in one single line. But, they are directed, to different counters, by a person, standing at the end of the line. By doing this, the work at each counter, is leveled, and the work, is leveled. Our next example, is regarding, the eating habits. When we eat at home, we always want, some amount of vegetables, some fish, or, chicken, some rice etc. In fact, the Indian Thali, is famous, for balancing everything. Too much, of one type, will not be good for us. We may look like this, after a few months. No balance. Traditionally, this is how, we may be treating, our customers. We dispatch, large quantities of one item, with no relation, to what the customer wants, and how much. The production scheduling, in companies, used to be like this. The belief was that, we should always, improve the machine utilization, and hence, the setups, should be minimal. But, that is an, inward looking approach. Some companies, improved on the setup times, with the help of, SMED principles. But, still batch sizes, continued to be large. There are some disadvantages, of the traditional way of, scheduling the production. If, a customer wants, one piece of, A. Then, he has to wait, till the next cycle. If, a defect is produced, it is, very much likely that, all that is produced, in that batch, will be defect, and company, would lose a lot of money. In addition, to replace the defective ones, the company, will have to disturb, the production, in a big way. When, the production is scheduled, like this, the raw material, and finished goods stocks, will have to be very high, as the customer, will not lift the goods, exactly in the same quantity. Production, has to be scheduled, in small lots, or, preferably in one piece, at a time, as required by the customer. Let us, look at the advantages, of leveling the production. The waiting time, for one more piece, of one type of product, will come down, dramatically. Customer can be serviced much better. If, one defect is produced, there is a good chance, that, it is the only defect, and no more. It will be, much easier to produce, one more of that product, to replace the defect. Raw material, and finished goods holding, will be much lesser. Many companies, follow, dynamic production scheduling, which is, a reactive way of scheduling production, in reaction to the demand. Dynamic production scheduling, is not a very good system, and a lot is left, to the people, involved in the system. You need to have, a good relationship, with the production manager, to get your items, faster. As against this, a static production scheduling, is much better. Static production scheduling, is a predecided sequence, and, quantity of production. Even if, the production is not leveled, still this system, works much better, as there is, at least a method, in the production. If, the production leveling is done. Then, the static production scheduling, can give, much better results.
Let us look at how traditional thinking versus lean thinking works. Traditional thinking in manufacturing was all about large batches, low variation, and minimizing setups. Traditional thinking also prioritizes the large runs first. But this does not contribute to better cash situation of a company. If there are smaller batches, high variation, then the finished product goes to the customer much faster and the cash comes back faster. It is very ideal if we can dispatch one piece to the customer and he pays us for the one piece. But many companies go for the best possible single batch. How frequently each part to be produced. Let us look at a production planning where every part is produced every week. Dispatch truck has to wait for four weeks to get all five products for dispatch. It is possible by having a philosophy of every part every month is followed. Which means five types in four weeks. For this, the production leveling ratio is 1.25 Dispatch truck has to wait for three weeks to get all five products for dispatch. It is possible by having a philosophy of every part every three weeks is followed. Which means five types in three weeks. For this, the production leveling ratio is 1.66 Dispatch truck has to wait for one week to get all five products for dispatch. It is possible by having a philosophy of every part every week is followed. Which means five types in a week. For this, the production leveling ratio is Five. The more frequently we produce each part, the working capital cycle will be that much better. Of course, it is related to the customer's requirement. Production leveling board has to be there in a factory which will dictate the frequency with which a part is produced. The Kanban cards from this board will have to be issued into the production to start producing that part.